fresh berries. They are right at your fingertips at a farm in Hanford. Clayton Clark is live in a field of blueberry dreams. Good morning, you lucky guy. Hey, good morning, Kim and Kopi. That's right. I just left the field of dreams when it comes to blueberries, and well, that's what I picked. A whole lot of blueberries, and we're getting a little taste of what you can do with the blueberries once you're done. We're at Rancho Not So Grande, which was cleverly named by John here, and uh, you're, I mean, you're a family man, so you want families to come out and experience a little bit of farm life, but also create memories, I would say? That's right, and as we've illustrated all morning, we've got a very wholesome family activity that's fun for the youngest children all the way to the oldest uh, seniors. Uh, I pack all the roads so it's easy to push strollers, walk, there's shade provided, ice water, so uh, it creates lifelong memories and you actually get something nutritious in the process. Yes, you get a bag of blueberries or boysenberries, raspberries, uh, what, what's all on the farm? You, well, we've got all kinds of things, uh, peaches, seven varieties of nectarines, apricots, uh, walnuts, pecans, uh, we do value added uh, uh, products like blueberry wine, a variety of jams and jellies, we also do frozen berry cobblers for those people People less adventurous uh, don't want to make their own. Uh, you can take them home and uh, take and bake. So very nice. So we are stealing some of the family recipes. We've got Micah, John's son, and you are uh, making what? Uh, we're gonna make some uh, blackberry dumplings. And uh, so we've got some of our Kiowa blackberries and uh, some different ingredients: flour, sugar, salt, uh, butter, and uh, some wine that we're gonna use in our reduction. And All right. So how does it work? So first thing we're gonna do you're gonna take your blackberries and we've got a pan here uh, going about medium heat. I think it's a little bit higher than that. Yeah, so we're gonna pour our blackberries on there. Get those going. And then wine, you can use, I mean, any type of dark wine really. We've got some Malbec here and it goes really well with it. So it's a little hot. Pour some more on there, but. Um, Let that simmer for a while? Yeah. So turn it down a little bit here and um, that makes a really good uh, reduction and you can use it in the in the dumplings and even like, uh, on ice cream too as a topping and so um, it's a little hot so we've got uh, that going and I'm just gonna grab my lid over here all right I'll follow you don't and steal my blueberries so we'll all pop right. that on there so for our dumplings we've got uh, some flour we'll pour that in the bowl and we'll get mixing with it what else do you have for the dumplings? We've got uh, butter, two teaspoons of butter. We've got a oh, cup of flour, by the way. Uh, so we're going to get that mix in. Pour in just a, a pinch of salt. The salt really um, brings in some taste to the berries, and it seems like it goes really well with um, how they taste. A little bit of milk. And how long until does this usually take you to make if you're just having a normal day in the kitchen? It's, it's really quick. We did, uh, I mean, pretty, pretty quick, 15, 20 minutes. And... Um, Get this going, so. I'm trying to get that dumpling con consistency. Yeah, you want to have it pretty doughy, uh, not too watery because they'll uh, they won't stick together as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, you want to have a good good doughy consistency, and uh, the milk isn't really measured out. You just keep mixing it in until it gets to that uh, that doughy consistency that we were talking about. So just watching for texture. Yeah. Cool. While you're mixing, I'll tell everyone when they can come party at Rancho Not So Grande. You guys are open Tuesday through Saturday, 7 to 7. If it's going to be a hot day, get here early. They have everything provided so you have a comfortable picking experience. You'll get to leave here with a whole lot of goodies like I picked for my blueberries. And while he's working, and John, I'll talk about what made you decide why, you know, there's so many different ways to have a farm. Why did you decide to basically let the public come out and root through your farm? Right. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there's a real common theme with all of the people that come here. And every parent I talk to or grandparent says, you know, when I was a kid, my grandma had blackberries, you know, down by the river. And we used to go down and pick them. And they all have the same kind of uh, memory in that they got scratched up, which nobody gets really scratched up. But they ate a bunch. They had berry juice all over them. Uh, they also said, well, we ate them till we got sick. And then we made a cobbler and a pie. And all, um, all adults uh, remember that. Uh oh, guess who Somebody forgot? saw you on TV and that's think right. No, you're still right. On TV. Turned, Was that Jay? Yeah. His name's Jay. Yeah. Jay, we're still on TV. He'll call you right back. Right. So, um, those are some of the fondest memories that all people have, I guess, and they want to share that type of experience with their children, and that's what I want to do with my kids, get them involved in a, you know, a wholesome family business, a small farm where we can directly uh, liaise with the, uh, you know, the, the consumer directly, um, and so it's interesting. I mean, uh, my neighbors that grow peaches and walnuts, they generally have one customer, and that's the packing shed or their marketer. Uh, I have at any given moment 5,000 customers, and they've all got my phone number, so I <laughs> 
<laughs> they they want to call and know what's happening with uh, the you know the berry farm, the status of the crop, when they can come, how you know, and have fun. Um, actually, um, uh, Facebook has probably been the, the most valuable tool. Everybody says, "What's your website?" But I, I'm in the field. I don't have time to run a website, but I can with a smartphone. So you can update what's fresh, ready to pick, and That's good to go. That's right. And so daily updates, uh, ready to go. Okay. Uh, so do you have a finished uh, dumpling in there for yeah, us to we check need out? To see that. Yeah, Michael was going to get the get in the oven and see how that's yeah. looking so again tuesday through saturday you can visit nacho rancho not so grande enjoy some of the delicious berries that are fresh right now ready to pick and take it home and work right. some magic the, like this give a copy oh they look beautiful awesome and so we see how easy it can be to just enjoy that but when you're working with berries this huge i mean this is enormous yeah, they're big they're not, they're not what, what is this is this a boysenberry no, i believe this is a uh, <laughs> or a blackberry what's the difference um the, is the blackberry darker yeah, i think so <laughs> the spelling thank you <laughs> much more coming up in two minutes